Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A positive charge Q is deposited on the surface of a small sphere. So this is the sphere they're talking about and the charge is given to this. The dotted lines represent the equipotential surfaces. Okay, so the potential is constant along all those lines. A small positive point charge is moved from the point P closer to the sphere along three different paths X, Y, and Z. So these are the three different paths in which the charge is moved and it is the same charge. The work done along each path is WX, WY, and WZ. What is the correct comparison for WX, WY, and WZ? Okay, so let us see. First of all, in this question, we must know that the formula for the work done is um, this into delta V. Definitely, there is a negative sign here, but we are only concerned with the magnitude. And so the work is equal to Q into delta V. So uh, let us uh, find this. So first of all, Y is having the same potential changes, like it is moving from, um, I'm going to call this as V1, V2, and V3. So the Y is Q into V2 minus V1 for Z is, it is Q into V2 minus V1, the work done. So the work done for Z as well as for Y is the same. And this path does not matter because it is equipotential surface. So it doesn't matter whether you are at this point or this point or this point or any point you are at, it doesn't matter at all. And in the case of Z and Y, the potential difference that the charge is shifted, even that is same and the charge is same. So definitely the work done for Z and Y is same. So these two are equal, these two are equal. A and D are definitely not the answer. So let us talk about now X. Now, clearly the X is moving from V1 to V3 and Y1 is moving from, y, from V1 to V2. So there is a difference of the electric potential um, changes. So X for X, the potential change is more and thereby we come to this conclusion that the work done in the case of X will be more than that in the case of Y. So WX is greater than WY and WY is equal to WZ. So definitely the answer is B. It cannot be C, the answer is B. I believe this question should be really very clear, my dear students. Uh, we are going to find the potential differences and we are using this formula here. We're just subbing the value, uh, put, putting the value here. So for this, for Y and Z, the potential difference is the same. The charges are the same. So there is no difference in the work done. But in the case of X, the potential difference is bigger and hence more work done will be done to take the charge to a bigger potential difference. And that is why the answer should be B. Let us see the mark scheme. And yes, the answer is B. This is how we do this question, my dear students. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and share the YouTube channel with all your friends. All the best. Bye.